hello my friends Bayan here with Bayan Hano in this video just gonna show you some update and some progress on the half duplex let's go yes is this a recording we are in the half duplex upstairs on the living room close to the front door so let's uh little bit of toy here we open, we had that opening there. We close this one and open it in here. Uh, just, uh, we did it because uh, that way you have a little bit more kitchen space for the cabinet. Because this open there would go around and we end up, could not use this. Yeah, we'll show you on the kitchen, but we could not use uh, this area. The open is done, I put some tape, some corner bead and uh, we pretty much uh, ready to go for one load of mud. Yeah, we had a video when we did the, the header, we framed the, this opening. So we have a video up, if you, if you haven't seen it yet and you're interested, just, uh, we would link it to, the, to this one, to this video. And um, it's good stuff in there. We just walk here through the kitchen. So the dryer repair is up on the board itself. We just tape it and we're just gonna load it. This is a uh, final as will be no no change. We just like you guys can see we we had a previously we had a, a drop here for the kitchen cabinet. So we have moved the drop, that way you're gonna put the cabinet all the way up and that would be more space and looks better without the drop. Yeah, this wall here, we're just gonna have the stove gonna go there. We're gonna have a corner cabinet in there. And uh, it's a pretty much about it for this wall. And they would go there. We're gonna have a space for the table in here. So, and now uh, we, this would be the dining kitchen room. We have a nice big window in here. And uh, okay, this, like you guys can see, we just, uh, we just walk here in the bathroom. So bathroom, we have all the parts. We have some drywall up in here, so this is uh, how it gonna look. Else we have, uh, we installed the shower in here, the shower base, that we, we have a video on it. And uh, if you want to know how to install a shower base, please check that video. And uh, yeah, here pretty much what it is. Uh, we have moved the Yes, the floor here we have moved the tile and install a plywood. The tile was uh, old tile and was all loose, so it was not really holding much. We put a new plywood in. Okay, yeah, this is uh, just the attic hole opening, the access. So we're gonna build some shelves in here. This we have drywall, plywood plus drywall, and here we have a piece of plywood. That way, once we go up on the to to the attic, doesn't make much damage. If you just put drywall, it would be damaged very easy. Once we put the step ladder, yeah, like this. Here we have a piece of uh, plywood, and here is drywall. The reason is because if we put uh, once we're going up. We're gonna put the step ladder so the step ladder would sit right on the plywood. It's a little bit stronger than the drywall. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here gonna be our laundry wash. We're gonna have a stack of wash and dryer. In this room here, everything has made the same, was no. No change, we didn't do like uh, anything in here. Yeah, we have a, a, a breaker box in here. And, uh, time, right? Yeah, and uh, 
what happened with your petty lock because the old wire, they all copper and they had the ground so we didn't have to change all the wires. All the drywall is up. This is how we just go in here on the master bedroom. Here we're gonna have uh, on this space we're just gonna use it for open shelves to store clothes and stuff. What uh, stuff? I mean really stuff, right? You put clothes, put some other stuff, put is what it is. A nice space. And here we have the master bedroom, so it was not a, a lot of change. And uh, we still the the old plaster walls. And here, like you can see, we have. Um, this is the master bathroom. We have the pipe set up and uh, we have the pipes on place and toilet going there, sink going here. And uh, we're gonna have the shower in here. We still have to install the shower base. What is coming up soon, we just uh, wait for it. It's a kind of a special order. So we just wait it come and we'll be good to go. Hopeful by uh, in next video when you show you next update, this would be all tape and mud be done and uh, hopeful some tiles and uh, we're good to go. We're just gonna walk downstairs, show you a little bit what's happened downstairs. Okay. Okay, we are here on the basement. We just uh, no drywall yet. We have some drywall laying here on the floor. We just uh, we just doing the isolation right now, nice. and uh, we just halfway on it. Just put some isolation up, some poly. Yeah, we have some uh, isolation here. We just use uh, against the concrete. We just use a uh, rigid isolation. And now uh, we're just gonna put the vapor berry and uh, like you guys can see here this uh, is still open now uh, this is the main washroom pipe is on the place we, we need to put the concrete which we are planning to do it uh, in the next couple of days finish the isolation put the concrete, patch out this hose and uh, probably uh, we're gonna have a video on this part too, how to do the concrete, all right, and um, it's pretty much uh, a bit done, but enough, I show you bedrooms, uh, looking good in here, like you guys can see, poly is going up, six, six mil poly, and um, and on the ceiling we just start with some rocks as isolation, right, for fire, for fire and sound. This is a safe and sound isolation. Um, next bedroom is still about the same. And this is Roxas safe and sound. And um, poly is up, we use a uh, head insulation and on the gaps we just use the spray foam to seal it good. This is their uh, exterior walls, so I mean, this one gonna be a window. So in the next couple of days we we're gonna have it all wrapped up between the patch on the floor for the concrete and uh, the isolation and uh, we just check on the few things. So. This is the next bedroom. <laughs> next bedroom and uh, 
We still have a few little things that we gotta do before we wrap everything up. Put a few tape on the wall. We still have to one shower missing upstairs. Let's come soon. One fan that we need to connect. This one gonna be, like I say, in the next couple of days. We are hope to have a. Uh, Oh, uh, have all the roughing done, hundred percent, and uh, we'll be good to go on it. And uh, for the fan, we had the. Uh, we still gotta put this uh, exhaust fan in for the bathroom, but we did a tutorial on that one. When we install that one, we have a video on it. Uh, please check it out if you want. If you want to see to learn how to install a bathroom exhaust fan, and now we just uh, link it to this video. Yes, in here we just gonna do a we gonna do a concrete shower, a concrete shower base like a base gonna be done on concrete. So what gonna happen here? We gonna have like two inches lower than the regular floor, and then gonna be done with a uh, concrete. Yeah, this is a, a cool project and we have a tutorial on that one too, once we do it, which I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Nice and easy and uh, it looks good once you have uh, the shower lower, couple inches lower than uh, the level of the floor. Yeah, so the roughing for the electrical, plumbing. It's all done, except for a few little things, but the rest is all in. Um, yep, everything is in. Good to go. Good to go for for next step, which is uh, start to patter up the concrete, finish the isolation, and good to go. We're gonna have some good video now. On the soundproof too, gonna be great stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we're gonna do some soundproof and uh, for the room, for the ceilings and the walls, and uh, we guys l keep you informed on the videos. Once we have all the isolation up and all good to go, we, once we have okay to go and and board it, it's we're just gonna hang the board and uh, pretty much. Yeah, we're gonna hang the drywall, the wall board, and uh, pretty much we'll be good to go. Probably on the next video we're gonna show you, we're gonna be hanging some drywall. And after that we're gonna mud and stuff, we're gonna, we're gonna have some good video come on, uh, on the taping for, a, for a, a something, a basement like this size. We're gonna show you guys how to use uh, very s some simple tools that would make the life very e easier than uh, by hand. So, and they are not very expensive. We're gonna show you guys that. Yes, if you have any ideas and uh, good ideas and any ideas for the colors and uh, cabinet, just let us know. Wall colors for the walls and color for the cabinet just let us know make your comments yes guys like uh we be we we'll be glad to hear from you just uh leave your opinion and uh we take from there yes uh we're doing a lot of work in here if you guys have something that you like to know please leave your comments and we get it done. Leave your comment and we make a video and show you how to do it. Um, and you guys are great. I love you. And uh, thank you for your support. And um, see you on the next update. And I love you.